to Jack in the pit area. Bob, when we got done with talking to Rick Mears, we were starting to make our way out of the Penske pits, and we discovered something that we've never, ever seen before. These are electric blankets. They plug them into a 110-volt outlet, and you know what they do with them? They put them over the tires after they come off the racetrack. What they theorize is that by keeping the temperature in the tires, they can keep them up to the handling characteristics that they had when they were on the car. Let me tell you what, in this heat, that's a first. You want to curl up inside one of these? Well, uh... Jack, we know it's uh, it's warm down there, but I doubt if you're going to need an electric blanket at least around you for the rest of the year. <laughs> Jack, I, I'll just disagree just for a second on you. You did say that they put the, the electric blankets on the tires after they come off the car. Of course, they put the electric blankets on the tires before they put them on the car. So they're already warmed up to racing temperature. So when they put the fuel into Rick's car, he can go straight out and stand on it as hard as he did before he came in on the Derek, new tires. That, that's what confused me. That's what I at first thought was indeed the case. But what I noticed was when Danny Sullivan came into the pits, they pulled a set of tires off of his car and quickly sequestered them inside those blankets. That's what's got me confused. Jack, I think they're trying to confuse us. <laughs> Doesn't take too much. <laughs> Doing a great job of it. There's Michael Andretti. Well, we have observations and reports from Jack Aroot now in the pit area. Well, Derek, let's update you. Remember we were talking and discussing, do you put hot tires or cold tires in the blankets? Well, here's the story. They put both inside. What they're doing with these electric blankets is trying to keep not only the heat, but the pressure inside the tires. I talked to the tire expert here in Danny Sullivan's pit, and you can see them working them over now. They say it takes as much as one entire lap around this place to get the tires up to the proper pressure under racing conditions. So they say we've gone to the electric blankets so that we can maintain that pressure while they're off the car in case we've got to put them back on. Jack, we spoke earlier on about Danny possibly picking up three seconds in his pit stop. That put him ahead of Roberto Guerrero. I wouldn't mind betting that it was actually the hot tires that gave Danny the advantage. So there's the high-tech world now coming more and more so to Indy cars, and I think talk. that may be just the advantage Danny has. You know what you talk about that, Derek? Remember Mark Donahue, the driver for Roger Penske in the early days? You know what they used to talk about? The unfair advantage? Right. We may have stumbled across one right here. I think we did. The leader is working heavy.